Looks good so far. Doctor? Is everything alright? Shh! I'm listening for... them. Who? Okay, we're good for now. Um, would this have anything to do with today's theme? Maybe, but I can't be sure yet. Well, I'm excited because today's episode could result in just about anything happening. Don't you love surprises? No, that's just the problem. Whenever we have an episode like this, unpredictable chaos invades this lair of mine and I'm trying to be five steps ahead of them. Well, we have Nurse to protect us if anything goes wrong, so don't worry about it. I suppose you're right. Let's just start the episode and hope for the best. I always do. do, what do you want, cause the this month's theme is commissions. Hooray. Oh, hush, Doctor. We thought it would be fun to revisit this theme, and designing a random OC from scratch has so much potential. Yeah, yeah. Doctor, are you really that upset about making an original character? I thought you would love this episode. <sighs> I'm sorry, Peppa. I don't mean to take away from our show. I actually do love this theme, and I do love creating new and original concepts. As a matter of fact, that is one of the main reasons I get so inspired working on this series. However, I just don't want any of these random concoctions to come in and mess with you and my crew anymore. Oh gosh, that's so sweet of you. It's not like I like you guys or anything. Baka. Well, don't worry, Doctor. I've traveled the world long enough to know how to defend myself. And if anything happens, I will be more than ready. Wait, you know self-defense? Well, not legitimately anyways. But I am trying to get more into it. Oof, I really need to hit the gym then if my employees are going to be more ripped than me. We love you just the way you are, Doctor. All right, all right. We've been sappy a little too long for comfort. Let's just get on with the show. Sounds like a plan. This time around, the result of the poll was our first male character on the show. And furthermore, a tall, non-human, lanky pirate. Aren't you excited? I hate you. I love you too, Doctor. At first, we kind of struggled coming up with a concept for this. Originally, we tried to do a sea creature pirate hybrid, but had trouble finding creatures of the sea that fit the tall and skinny look we needed. But then we had the idea of the crow's nest of a pirate ship and thought about combining that with a scarecrow. Thus, we have our pirate character, Captain Crow's Nest. Why don't we go more into the backstory of this character? Take it away, Peppa. Despite making a lot of characters from scratch on the show, we haven't really come up with backstories for any of them on screen. While I was designing this one, I thought he'd be a scarecrow made out of pieces of a ghost ship, haunted by the spirit of a long-dead pirate captain. Legends say that any ship his crow lands on will meet a watery grave at the hooked hand of Captain Crow's Nest. Wow, Doctor, you seem to be really into this character. I really do love this idea, and wouldn't mind building on it more. Maybe a spin-off show about a crow looking for love out on the open ocean, only to find the hooked hands of the captain. As much as I can appreciate Dark Shanty Tales, Doctor, maybe it could be about the captain and the crow both finding love out on the open ocean instead. They could go on enchanted adventures together and... Hmm, nah. I want it to be a rough and gritty story, not a magical girl reboot. I suppose I'll keep my fanfiction to myself then. I mean, I wouldn't mind reading it. Maybe later, but for now, I kind of want to explore a little bit of the sailor and pirate's lore of the olden times. Maybe we can get some inspiration for our potential stories. I'm pretty set on my idea, but I'll humor you. Works for me.
After looking into it, stories show that sailors and pirates of ye olden times were a very superstitious lot, and there's a vast amount of folklore to draw inspiration from. Oh yes! One of the most famous being Davy Jones' Locker, a term meaning the bottom of the sea where drowned sailors and shipwrecks were consigned to. Many character designers have made physical depictions of the famous Davy Jones, with arguably the most well-known version belonging to the pop culture sensation known as the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. It really is fascinating to see how many different interpretations there are of him out there. I wouldn't mind us doing a commission of him one day, honestly. I who be speaking my name. Ah, Pepper, look out! Oh, Doctor, it's fine. Hello, sir. Are you lost? You appear so. But I couldn't help but overhearing you be speaking my name in rapid succession, and I had to get a look at what you be spewing. Oh, no, we were just talking about Davy Jones. Aye. It's very nice to see you again, Mr. Flying Dutchman. What? what? Oh, are you not the Flying Dutchman? No, I'm not the Flying Dutchman. Come to think of it, the resemblance is quite uncanny. How dare you disrespect me in this manner? Well, how dare you barge into my lair uninvited? Uh, actually... I think me and the Dutchman were supposed to get tea this afternoon, so he technically was invited. Oh, well pardon me, sir. Make yourself comfortable. I'm tired of your foolishness. I'll show you comfortable. Oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, it's like high school all over again. <laughs> Bet you're feeling like the homecoming queen now, eh, crafty? <laughs> A few moments later. Well, that was not what I expected, but also exactly what I expected. I'm so sorry, Doctor. You're not hurt, are you? Oh, no, it's not your fault. I'm fine. And it's about time to show off the final piece. Are you sure? Yes, let's just keep going. Not so fast. Oh, no! <laughs> um... The piece is finished, and it looks really great. I'm, um, super excited with how it turned out, and... Uh... Oh, my little pony is a work of Shakespeare. I can't believe you! We are never getting tea again! Ah, pipe down, lassie. He had it coming. N no he didn't! Peppa, it's okay. Please don't get yourself into this. I... I just don't want to sit by while this rude ghost bullies you. L look I've dealt with pirates before. And you ruining our episode like this is something I will not tolerate. Uh... So, so you need to leave and never come back. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? And just how do you plan to make me leave, Missy? Like, like this! What? No! Ah, melting! Melting! Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. I guess that's another spill Messy will have to clean later. <sighs> it had to be done. That was so very brave of you, Pepper. I just hate seeing you mistreated like that, especially when you mean well. In any case, I think this is a wonderful way to end this episode. And like they say, weird things happen on Stranger Tides or something. Maybe I should be the one still asking if you're okay, Doctor. I may or may not have a concussion. Oh gosh! Yes! Um, see you all next time! Thanks for stopping by! Yes! Thank you all for watching another episode of the Kara Cafe. Join us next month when we'll be taking on a design of our own cartoon fan character. See you all then!